But we begin tonight in DeKalb County, where police say they've arrested the second suspect in a Mother's Day mass shooting. Good evening and thanks for choosing Fox 5 tonight. I'm Alex Whitler. That shooting left three people dead and three others hurt. Our team was there today as police flooded the suspect's neighborhood. Fox 5's Rob DiRienzo reports. Well, both suspects are in DeKalb County's custody and will stay there until their next day in court. They face three counts of felony murder after the Mother's Day mass shooting that left three people dead. DeKalb County will not retreat, that we will do whatever is necessary to bring the perpetrators to justice. DeKalb police say they have made good on that promise made following the May 8th shooting. After asking for the public's help in tracking down 21-year-old A. Jangler Walk, police moved in and arrested him at a home on Ashton Oak Circle. Cops took him into custody and executed a search warrant on the house in which he was staying. On the day after the shooting, police told us that when they showed up, they discovered a horrific bloodbath. We had the person who called the police direct us to the actual location where the shots were, were heard. Upon our arrival there, we discovered five bodies, three of which were deceased and two of which were critically injured. Police think that both Ruach and 25-year-old Ofeo Ojego are responsible for the Mother's Day mass shooting. Officers had arrested Ofeo, but were still looking for Ruach until Sunday. County leaders say this is a community largely made up of vulnerable refugee and immigrant families. It's a danger, dangerous place. On the night of the shooting, a neighbor told me that they are often forced to dodge the crossfire from rival gangs. We behave like a lot of stuff about this place, like, you know, a lot of shootings, a lot of different stuff, like they say, like, a, yeah, illegal stuff. The condo complex has a long history of violence, once nicknamed the worst neighborhood in America. The county's top official said last month that they have made cleaning it up a priority. We've invested a significant amount of resources in this property. It is privately owned. We'll continue to try to support the families who are some of the most vulnerable citizens and residents in our community. And this is just uh, really an encouragement to even do more if possible. Police say they found Ruach hiding in a closet. They credit a tip from Crime Stoppers for leading them to the 21-year-old suspect. Rob DiRienzo, Fox 5 News.